Welcome back to the Champions of the Parish. I am Dang Square. Today we're going to be doing a box open, a box opening, finally, of what's in here. <laughs> uh, this has been, been waiting for this for like, since September. It's November, almost Thanksgiving. I ordered this in like the beginning of September, but that's okay. We finally got here. Uh, things got worked out that need to get worked out, and... And now I have this box here. This is for the Exodus game. I'm trying to find what the cake is. This is for the sixth set that came out in September. Um, trying to remember. I'll know once I see the opening of the box, but it's a uh, time relapse. I want to say. I have a, for some reason I have a hard time remembering what the name of this set is. But uh, this is a. There's six set. Uh, this is the set that actually introduces Drifters cards to the set, um, which is, if you're a Magic player, it's kind of like Planeswalkers in a sense, or Planeswalker or Commanders, uh, which is cool. I'm going to have to, there we go, I'll have to read more into the Drifter part of it see how that actually works. Holy crap, they bubble wrap the crap out of this. Like, no joke, they wrapped this thing like five layers deep from the original box packaging. They made sure this thing didn't get jacked up. Holy crap. So here we go. Okay, there it is. I'm sorry. Threshold of time. I was way off. <laughs> okay, so this is the success. Threshold of time for Exodus. This is also a first edition box, so this was pre-ordered. Right. Now this is just like the other box that we had opened that uh, has the five cards in a pack and about 12 or so. I'm sorry, I messed up my camera, look at that. Alright, this will have the uh, 12, I think about 12 packs, 5 card packs, it's not a lot, but again, this set, <clears throat> or this game, overall, doesn't require a lot of cards, it's only uh, 40 card decks, with 20 of them being uh, your energies, and the other 20 being your main deck, so, boom, there it is, finally, let's get this out of the way. And our box topper. Each box comes with a box topper. I'm pretty sure you have it's like two box top, two cards in the box topper. Um, one of them is set, and the other one is like a random. Uh, let's see. What we, let's see what we got. New Exodus cards. Um, okay, here's the rules, mechanics for rebuild. And transform hellfires ignite and burst mechanics. So some a lot of mechanic rules in there. Uh, ooh, little ding -y ding. Oh no, that's just. Uh. Anyway, all right. So here's the actual box topper, born asunder, and then the uh, bonus one. Ooh, hello. The Eventide Archive. It's a symmetry. Only one copy of this card will lie in your main deck. Search your main deck or graveyard for one archive creature and add it to your hand and shelf your main deck. If you search, a main deck will search. After this, play it stays in your field. So, uh, shelf your main deck if you search this play. Blah, blah. Stays on the field until another card causes it to leave. Okay, so this is like a permanent then. Link on Amitai Archive, the Great Archive, and Archive. The Archive, your Archive Creatures. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm about to read more into that. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, here are the boosters. Alright, so that's, yeah, that's, like I said, not a lot. But for, uh, for the game, it doesn't require a lot, so let's go through some packs. It shouldn't be 
too long. Let's see if I can remember it. Last time I was having to open them from the bottom. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited we got these. Alright, first card is already a drifter. Yeah, the drifter cards too also have the drifter rule on the back of the card since it's a new card. Well, let's look at the front. Oh, oh wow. Okay, this is new too. It's a common creature with an ability. That's new. Because usually commons and uncommons, one and two star cards, creatures don't have abilities. This is different. Uh, the creature enters a play, you may rebuild it. If you do, it gains one energy. Super cool. Right, symmetry. Pay one energy, target an ability that is active or activating and wait to and waiting to resolve. Negated the rest of the turn. Oh, that's cool. I like that card. A Leviathan. Commandeer Caravel. Alright, and the foil of the pack. It's not guaranteed to be a rare foil, but it's a foil. Is reverse rain obsidival? I can't read. <laughs> it's a hailfire and has ignite and burst abilities. And then the drifter is archivist chancellor. Once per turn, you may pay one life, put two, you may pay one life point to target an ability and negate. Oh, that's really good. Negate it for the rest of the game. See, I'm glad they're starting to do that. Put more in the gate or counter spells in this. Uh, that's kinda, I'm going to go over the rules real quick for drifting. Your deck may include one non-creature drifter and only a single copy of it. So one copy of a drifter. Uh, drifters can't be included in deck with non-archive creatures and also can't be included in decks that don't contain creatures. So I'm guessing that's a thing. So it has, not only does it have to be non-archive creature it has to actually include creatures okay uh this card starts in play it can't leave play flip it face up when, it, when the game begins so like commander and magic it stays on the battle or on the battlefield uh at the beginning of the game you may add any amount of energies from your hand to this card during your energy phase while there are no creatures on top of it your opponent must attack this card while it is not a creature to hit your life points directly, it doesn't engage in battle. Okay, so this is like a kind of like a blocker then. Uh, any creatures on top of this card? Oh, that's right. You can add creatures on top of it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. That's right. That's right. I remember that. Any creatures on top of this card are considered the same creature and gain all abilities within within while stacked. Okay, so this kind of like the um, mutate from. It's like a big combination of Commander, Mutate, Planeswalkers. <laughs> this is kind of... That's our archive for this pack. Alright, so let's get on to the second pack. Starting from the bottom. Now it's open. Hopefully. Ready for the top. Yep, top. Do top. Alright. So, Range 4 is Ribbon Root. See, this one normal. Uh common creatures um right, let's do this real quick what is here let's put our folios there put that there all right scarlet drift heights when this card is played ignited it stays in play until the end of turn draw one energy nice new rage cycles draw one energy if you rebuild a machine this turn you may also draw one card Ooh, a foil rare. Hellfire and brimstone symmetry. This looks cool. When this card is played, ignited, it leaves play when a symmetry is revealed from your main deck. When you successfully summon or put it into uh, put it into play or put into play put into play a hellfire, ignite it. Then reveal the top card of your main deck if it was a Hailfire draw. And then an even tide armada. Boats! Oop, let's put that in the foily section. Alright. Third pack. Let's go. Let's see. Dimensional Chasm. 
Symmetry. Target one creature on your side of the field. For each rarity star, it has a below three. Target one card from a graveyard and shuffle it into your into the owner's main deck. That's actually interesting. A Voldus Phoenix. Okay, unstable Kronacher. Uh, when this creature enters play, you may rebuild it. If you do, move one energy to play energy in play to another creature or pile on the same side of the field. All right, another foil rare Magna Mountain Lavas Lavasus Lavasus. Uh, <laughs> When this creature enters play, you may add one in, add one Hellfire from the graveyard to your hand from for each rarity you have in play. It also has Ignite and Burst. Another Hellfire, a Kindle Fire, Kindle Fire Hound with Burst and Ignite. All right, next pack. Revolver Mushroom. Mushroom Folk. Mush Folk. Breaking Helver. You may target a Drifter and negate its ability for the rest of the turn. Draw one card or two if you burst if you burst any card this turn. Ooh, that's cool. Another boat. Coming to your Oh, it's the same boat. <laughs> Coming to your carnival. And the foil is an archivist ma uh, maven. It's a drifter. Uh, Snowcap Sequoia is the other creature. All right. Once you're, once per turn, you may move one energy and play somewhere else on the same side of the field. That's cool. Apologize if I'm too high up on the screen. I'm trying to bring it a little further down. All right, tomorrow's today. If you froze two or more cards this turn, your common creatures receive one less damage and your uncommon creatures receive a deal one more damage during battle this turn. Another bullet. Seabound Inquisition. Oh, I like this one, it's pretty. Monolith, and it's a foil rare. Manuscript of the Archivist. Pay one life point. Your archive creatures don't lose energies during battle this turn. That's pretty cool. And then another Obsidable. <laughs> I'm sure I've said that like five different ways now. And shout out to Existence Games for working with me on solving the issue of getting this here. Uh, like I said, I've been waiting since September for this box to get here. Uh, episodic Executioner, Shard Folk. Or Time Development. If your opponent has more cards in play than you, draw a card. It's pretty simple. Complexity Gear. If you have at least three different rarities among your creatures in play, target two oppo opposing creatures in play. And switch their energy levels. Okay, and the foil is another drifter. Archivist Cardsmith. It says once per turn when your creatures are in symmetry cards become the targets of opponent's cards, effects, abilities, you may target one symmetry in their graveyard play and play that card immediately. You must still pay any cost. That's pretty cool. And then this is pretty nifty. Another machine. Ostracata Dredge Injon. This creature can attack two creatures at once during your turn. During the battle. Oh, um, during the turn, it is rebuilt. So you can rebuild it. That's cool. Such little bitty packs. Alrighty. 
Ooh, a Dargan. Hailfire Dragon. Nailfire Inferna has Ignite and Burst. Librarian License. Pay one in excuse me. <laughs> Pay one energy. Target an ability that is active or activating and waiting to resolve. Negated for the rest of the turn. That's cool. I like that. Visceral Valvengen. When this creature enters play, you may rebuild it. If you do, draw one card. Ooh, a tree food. Oh, okay, Cancerary of the Twisted Trees. Another the next Cancerary series. Okay, I think I have two of the other one. Anyway. Uh while this creature is in play, all of your energy is play in oh wait, hold on. Let me try again. When this creature is in play, all your energy in play is twisted. When twisted energy would leave play, you may pay one life point to keep it in play instead. Oh, okay, I get that. That's cool. That's cool. I got that in foil. I like this uh, part of the Canterbury series. Uh, Lucia's Throne. Unfreeze one energy on your field for each rarity amount among your creatures in play. Then move. Those energy cards to one of your creatures in play. For each rarity card that creature has below three, it gains one energy. That's a lot. All right. A few more packs. All right. Ribbon, another ribbon root. Ooh, a new one. Crank work on. Flagration, I don't. This creature enters play, you may rebuild it. If you do, destroy one energy in play. Let's ignite and burst. Season of Torrents. Send one energy in play to the owner's hand. If you have two or more Leviathans in play, send one for each, uh, from e one energy from each opponent's creature and pile in play to the owner's hand instead. Okay, that's cool. Oh, another. Is the same one? Uh, yes, it is. It's the same. Yeah, the same one. But this one is foil. Archivist Chancellor. Treasury of Tree Folk. Look at the look at your opponent's graveyard hand and the top card of their main deck. Target up to one viewable card from each and move them to one of those oh you can that, that's that's some ooh, ooh, i like that card that's some new stuff right there all right All right, Lost at Sea. Target one energy in play and send it to the owner's hand. You may draw one energy. That's a good card. I like that. Another Phoenixes. Library Legislation. Lit lit litigation. There it is. Litigation. When this card is played, it remains on the field until the end of your next turn. Your opponent plays with their hand and the top card of their main deck revealed. When this card leaves play, move one energy somewhere else on the same side of the field. That's pretty nifty. Ooh, Canyon of Seeker is a foil rare. Target one of your machines in play and rebuild it. Even if it even if it and the rebuild target have already been rebuilt this turn. Send it to the graveyard and replace it with one of your machines from a zone that is viewable by you. I'm going to have to ask questions about that, how that actually works. Repel the Thought Stream. When this card is played, it remains on the field until the end of turn. When your opponent draws a card due to an effect or ability, you may draw a card from the opposite deck. Nice, I get it. Let's get that over there. Alright, three more packs. Ooh, this one got some scuffed up cards. Oh, uh, even that card got dinged. Like, really bad. Some feathering going on that card a lot. Alright, Hedge Thunder of Dreams. Enter the battlefield, you may rebuild it. 
If you do, it gains one energy. That's a machine? It's like a spirit machine. That's cool. Comatose Comet. Hailfire. Ignite and Burst. Transmogrification. <laughs> Summon an archive uh, creature from your graveyard to the field. That's cool. Ooh. It's a foil basic creature. Shark Joke. Venomosphere Monarch. It's cool. Oh, cool. Another one of the. It's the same card. Same as our box topper. Even Tide Archive. Cool. I wonder if we'll get luck out of these next two packs if we get a secret rare. Because I know my first box I had uh, the, men the, 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 the dimensional one. I can't remember the name. Um, first pack was a secret rare, but we'll see. Blue Blaze Angel. Ignite and Burst. Scarlet Drift Heights. When this card is played, ignite it. It stays in play until the end of the turn. Draw an energy. Unstable Chronicler again. Ooh, Foil Rare again. Shiver Vault Glacier. You may activate. Okay, I'm sorry. Active, uh, active ability is Protector of Relics. When you you may activate this ability from your hand or field to discard this creature. If you do target a player, that player targets up to two cards from hand and puts them on the side of the field. Frozen. Those cards unfreeze and return to the owner's hand at the end of the turn. That's cool. I like that card. And the fish again. Alright, last pack. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Alright, we're getting a drifter. We know we're getting a drifter. Alright. Oh, executioner again. Combustion chamber. Each, each player discards one card from their hand. Then they may draw one card. If a player discarded a hailfire, they may destroy one energy in play. If a player rebuilt a machine this turn, they may draw an additional card. A lot of machine and uh, symmetries in this set. Uh, okay, I have this creature again. Another rare. Foil, Sails of the Fallen. This card remains on the field when it is in play and leaves... Oh, I'm sorry. It remains on the field when it is played. And leaves play when it is targeted. Whenever a Leviathan enters play, add one energy beneath this. Excuse me, beneath this card. When this card leaves play, move the energies beneath it to your Leviathan play. However, you like. Nice. So definitely some Leviathan and Archivist. Archivist Maven. Maven. Cool. All right, let's kind of go go over to. Foils, uh, Sails of the Fallen, the Venom Spire Monarch, the Shiver Vault Glacier. Wait, we got that card twice. Oh, because it goes over there. That's, yeah, okay. Canyon of the Secrets, Archive and uh, Chancellor, uh, Cancer of the Twisted Tree. Another archivist or uh, drifter, archivist cardsmith, a manuscript of the archivist, archivist maven, magma mountain lava sis, kind of like call a col a colossus but a lava sis, <laughs> hailfire and brimstone, and then the obser uh, reverse rain obsid. I'm stable. I, I can't. I don't know how to pronounce that. But not too bad. No secret rares in this box, but that's okay. Uh, this is still a brand new set, so who knows? I may get another box, and hopefully, it doesn't take forever to get here, like this one did. But whatever. I hope your post office doesn't lose it again. But anyway, that is time. Or oh, excuse me, threshold of time set. This is not a complete set, but this is from this box. I'm 
might get a dimensional, another dimensional box and another box of these. Cause I really like the dimensional box and this one's good. I uh, really good too. Um, I might think about, since there's a lot of Hellfire, I might build a Hellfire deck or a machine deck. That would seem pretty cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, try to do more Exodus gameplay whenever I can. Uh, me and the guys are busy right now and we don't really have much time to do anything for the channel, it seems like, for Magic or Exodus. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoy and catch y'all later. This is Dang Square with Champions of the Parish.